Hi there guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a play review. You may notice that my background's different. Um, this is the bedroom, Edward's asleep on the sofa in our living room, so this is what I have to work with today. So the play review that I'm going to be doing is of Nell Gwynn by Jessica Swall. I read this a very long time ago and picked it up again because I was thinking, do you know what, I actually want to read that again? And then I thought, I haven't done a review on my channel, so why not? Nell Gwynn is all about Nell Gwynn. She was one of the first act actresses allowed on the stage. They weren't really allowed on stage till Charles I said yes, you got Margaret Hughes as well is in with the first round of actresses. There's a really good film, what's the name of it? There's a really good film called Stage Beauty, which sort of delves into the the lives of the first actress and actresses so that's worth looking at as well if you want some more info on the background of when actresses were allowed on stage when us ladies were allowed to finally join those ranks. Something that I really liked about this copy, this is from Nick Hearn Books and they've put at the beginning an interview where Jessica Swell is speaking to uh, Heather, Heather Neal? Neal? hope that's right about the play and how she's written it what she thought of the certain aspects of it and I found that really eye-opening to read that before I delved into the play because I'm notoriously bad for just jumping straight into the play and not reading any of the before note which is something that I've been trying to change which is why I read that first there was a section where is it the where she's talking about a Nell's relationship with King Charles II and how she says she really thinks they were in love and one of his last dying wishes was please don't let poor Nellie starve, uh, Nellie being now Gwyn. And he really did love her, like he gave her a nice townhouse in London and all sorts. I'm like, where's my man to do this? <laughs> but it was very eye-opening because I didn't actually know a lot about the history so this sent me on a nice little detour down Wikipedia highway of Nell Gwyn, Charles II. I was like, I wonder if there's any people still alive, the descendants. So I had like a proper good hour delve into that as I do. It opened up my eyes a lot to the times, how women were perceived on stage. Quite a lot of them were seen as like, how can you put a woman on the stage? Like, it's just not right. So it starts off in London in Cheapside and Nell is selling oranges and they're in the theatre. She's trying to hawk her oranges whilst the play is going on and there's the play is getting lots of heckles and she's just like having a go at the heckler going oh yeah i want to listen and being quite you know witty she was known as witty now so i love that she has so much of a gift of the gab and i really do feel like jessica swell's really like put that in there and timed everyone else's speech around that really well i quite enjoyed that it made me laugh so many times but she's so cheeky and she's got so many different sides to her and you know when it comes to the King of England and she's just like, he's still a normal guy. And, you know, she's from no money in Cheapside. Uh, her mother run, ran a, a a brothel, basically. And it's just where she's come from to where she went to. It's, it was basically a Cinderella rags to riches type story. And it was just, yeah. But she, she treated him like anyone else and he was completely taken aback by it. And that's what he liked. And I don't blame him for once someone was like, yeah, no, I don't really care what you think. I'm gonna live my life how I want. And eventually she like, you know, she fell for him. This isn't me spoiling the story, this is history. So you can go and look all of this up. And she eventually has children with him and it does get into the politics of the time as well, which I thought was really good because a lot of plays skirt around that and they don't explain the time and how that affected people's behaviour towards other people and how Charles at one point has to entertain a lady from France to keep approval and Nell doesn't like that and she upstages this woman, upsets her and you know the way that they are to get together afterwards when they're arguing about it, things like that were, were brilliant and the at the end when Charles dies I was nearly in tears because not only had I gone through this wormhole of Wikipedia because I've been so intrigued by it that I learned all about their story, but it's just the way that suddenly life is so brilliant for them and all of a sudden that crumbles down, it all falls down. And she ends up back with her friends at the theatre and the last speech was brilliant and yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say, I loved it, I loved it, I really did and you know the way that she's being so witty with all of the, the men in the theatre and basically not standing for any of their bullshit is brilliant, I love it and you don't see that so often, I do find with a lot of things there aren't these 
depths to characters, especially female characters, and they actually go into like how to like talking about building good female characters to the stage because women weren't on the stage. So they made them all these damsels in distresses, overtly feminine, over the top sort of delicate constitutions and now I was like, that's not a real woman, and it's not, you know, we'll bite your ass off if you tell us what for. But if there's a spider, you're totally getting it for me. No, I love that she brought up the, the problems of the time, how women were seen, how playwrights were having to change what they wrote because women wouldn't be interested in seeing real women on stage necessarily playing characters that weren't what they see of themselves. You know, we go to the theatre to find little bits of our lives that we can relate to. And this is a reason that I love Shakespeare so much because there's always parts of his stories that you can understand and relate to. And you have always going to be, like I've said before, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, all of these relationships that come together. And they're all intense relationships. And he does really well with that. And I really loved how Jessica Swall integrated the relationships into this and how she built Nell. She wasn't just like this over the top sort of like, I can do what I want. She was also, she also had her softer sides and she had those moments where she didn't know what to do. And she was such a well-rounded character, which I really loved. And yeah, but she also, she didn't just focus on Nell. She delved into the sides of Charles as well, which was totally different. You know, most of the time, if it's about the women, it's about the heroine, that's the story. But she delved into the problems that Charles was uh, was going through and the political ties that he had and what he had to do. You know, that his position wasn't just a position of luxury. He had obligations and things that had to be done, the ways he had to treat people, keep up relationships, things like that. Brilliant. I thought that Jessica Swell did brilliantly with this. I'm so sad I didn't get to see this on stage. And yeah, I definitely want to read some more of her works. I know she did Blue Stockings, which I would like to read as well. I don't know much about it, but yeah. So that is my review of Now Going by Jessica Swell, and I would highly recommend you go and pick up a copy of this. I will leave a link to it down below. And yeah, I, I'm. You can you can tell when I get passionate about these things. I at least I hope I convey that through the camera. And. I, the last few months, especially whole of 2020, I lost a lot of my love of theatre and I'm really trying to get that back. You know, we spent a year not doing any work and that's been so hard for so many of us out there who are in the theatrical industry, the film industry, and we just gotta keep going, keep strong, and thank you to people that write plays that I can read and dream about and explore and everything else in between and keep my passions going through these really tough times. So, yeah. Jessica Swell, everyone. Nell Gwynn. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about the play, I will leave some links down below. I will also leave a link to Jessica Swell's website because she's done quite a lot of other things and she's got a lot of info on her website too. If you would like to follow me, I'd be really grateful because I'm going to be producing more content about theatre, film, everything in between. What I know, I will share with you in part what I know. I am by all means not the one who knows everything, but I know some things and some things may be useful to you. So hit the follow button, subscribe button, the red button that means that you get told about it. Don't forget to hit the little bell. Is that, that's like an upside down heart, but I'm gonna say it's a bell. Just so you get notifica notified every time that I produce a video. And don't forget to comment below. Tell me whether you've read Nell Gwynn, whether you'd like to read it, any other plays you'd like me to review or have a look into and you think I should read, I would be super duper grateful. So thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, follow me on Instagram, I chat more on there and I shall do through the lens sometime very soon. Bye. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done